Yo, what is up guys? It is Weebra and I'm back with another manga haul. We're gonna go through this very quickly. There's gonna be no unboxings. I'm just gonna show you what I picked up through this month and a little bit of last month. Before we get started, I did wanna say thank you guys to everyone who watched my Attack on Titan hardcover project. You guys are awesome. Also to everybody who has been sharing and supporting my little Instagram post that I've been doing lately, which you can check out on my Instagram. I will be doing everything in my collection in the coming days. I'm gonna try to post like every other day or so. So first off, we're gonna go through stuff that is available that you can buy. Then we're gonna go into a lot of out of print stuff. I found a lot of great deals, honestly, a lot of rare stuff. Then I'll go into some Spanish manga that I got. All right, I guess we'll start off with the Demon Slayer box set here that I got off of Amazon. And I'm not gonna open it until I decide to read it over again, I've already read it. And if you guys want a more in-depth look, you can check out Dark Sage's unboxing video. It's really, really good. Then I went ahead and picked up Solo Leveling Volume 3. Awesome, awesome series. Also picked up Machi Maho, which I've heard a lot of great things about. Got a good deal on this on an eBay deal. And it's where I also got this one. It was like a buy two, get one free. Uh, this one I never heard of. It looked really interesting and can't wait to start it. Then I also got Burn the Witch in this awesome slip cover. Honestly, this is pretty, pretty dope. I heard it's kind of flimsy, but better than nothing, I guess. I think Germany has like a nice hardcover, which is awesome, but this is also nice too. Then I also picked up the Attack on Titan Omnibus, which honestly, I love the cover, but to be honest with you, the paper quality as usual is kind of shoddy and you can tell that it's very prone to spine cracking. I don't even want to open it up, but I mean, it's still pretty cool. I honestly would rather get the singles. Then I also got the Breaker, which is freaking awesome. This edition by A Blaze Manga is incredible. The pages are a little bit thin. There's a little bit of transparency, but honestly, that's what you normally get with white paper, which this has. It's incredible it's so nice and heavy it's freaking awesome definitely recommend this definitely worth the money then i also picked up mal which i talked about in my manga releases videos that i haven't done yet but um i don't know if i'll continue doing them if i if you guys enjoy it i'll continue doing it it is a lot of work but it is fun for me so yeah this is by rumiko takahashi and i also have yet to get started on this been reading some other stuff but this was an awesome pickup as well and oh yes Vampire Hunter D Omnibus. I have only been reading this a little bit at a time. I want to savor it as much as possible until new releases come out. But this is amazing, guys. I definitely recommend this. It's a light novel, but it's so good. It's incredible. Oh, got some more peak fiction for you guys here. Do you like big girls? Freaking awesome. Oh, I want more. I don't know if this is called, is this considered hentai or etchy? It's somewhere in between. It's like super etchy, I guess. It's, it's, it's hentai, I don't know. This was awesome. When will Ayumu make his move the, by the mangaka of teasing Mr. Takaki-san? I don't know why it's so hard for me to say that. Takaki-san? And this was honestly great. I really, really enjoyed this. Honestly, I'm excited to see how this develops. And it just makes me want to pick up teasing Mr. Takaki-san. It's, it's so, so good. Then we got Captain Harlock, volume one, which I was missing. Definitely the more harder one to find currently. It's been out of stock. And, you know, I definitely paid more than I did the other volumes, but it's Captain Harlock, baby. Gotta pick it up. And that is pretty much it for stuff that you can probably go out and find right now, essentially. Okay, let's get into some out of print goodness. I found a lot of good deals this month, man. Woof. All of this is basically stuff that I got at book off. I got some Shaman King singles that I was missing for about $8 a piece, which is a great deal. These are annoying to get for a good deal. You have to be looking like crazy online and yeah, pretty excited about this. Then I also got uh, King of Bandits Jing, which I just love these covers, man. They're foil and just super, super cool. Got this for a good deal. Not in the best condition, but you know, it's extremely hard to find something like this in good condition, but yeah, I'm excited to get into this. Then we have some light novels by Nisioisin, which I was honestly very surprised to run into this. It's by Del Rey, and I think this one's a little bit expensive. I don't, I don't know, It's I, I couldn't get a clear answer, but yeah, I had to pick this up. Very interesting. Nisioisin is the manga of Bakemonogatari, so you know, doesn't hurt to pick this up. Got it for a pretty good deal as well. Then I got some stuff for a Twitter mutual that they saw in my shopping vlog at Book Off, and they're like, oh my God, I, I, 
I want this and it's called My Heavenly Hockey Club. Honestly, this looks pretty cool. It's a shoujo, I imagine. I also got Imadoki nowadays, which unfortunately there were like five volumes available during the time of the video, but once I got back there, uh, this was the only one available, unfortunately. But yeah, gonna ship this out to them pretty soon. Also, I forgot to talk about this. It's, I uh, got No Longer Human, Junji Ito. I actually got this accidentally twice. So I have an extra copy that I unfortunately can't return. So if you wanna buy one for, I don't know, dirt cheap or something, let me know. Beautiful edition, by the way, really, really nice. Then we're gonna get into my number one five, which I was fucking losing it when I, when I ran into this at Book Off. Like, I couldn't believe it. I remember I was telling my friend, I'm like, Dude, I gotta go, I gotta hit up. It was a Westminster book off and I was like, I know I'm gonna find something, I just know. <laughs> Which is just like the gambler in me. I'm like, just statistically, there's gotta be something. It's been a while. And dude, I saw this, I was just, I couldn't believe it. It was just sitting in the shelf there. Um, it's not everything, unfortunately. I think I'm missing a couple of volumes, but it's the Gunslinger Girl Omnibuses. And I saw this in Manga Slots collection video and I was like oh dude gunslinger girl like I haven't I seriously forgot about that series I used to love the anime and uh and yeah it's just it sucks because these are very annoying to find people are asking crazy prices it's out of print but um yeah hopefully I can find the rest of it I know manga sloth found a really good deal on a full set so so yeah gunslinger girl I highly recommend this I mean I've seen the anime and the anime is incredible so you know the manga is going to be fantastic as well so now this was also a crazy find it wasn't as exciting as gunslinger girl i was literally was like <laughs> i got like lightheaded <laughs> when i found gunslinger girl which is so dumb but it's monster singles i honestly was like with this i was just so surprised i never see this i was like what the fuck is this and it was at the book off in torrance which i have seriously never found anything there like i've gone there like 10 times and i never found anything so yeah i was really excited about this Hopefully I can get the rest of it. These are really nice covers. And you know, there's certain singles editions that you just, you know, the perfect editions are way better. But just the collector in me, I'm, I look at these, and I'm just like, man, I want it, dude. I want a full set. Awesome find. Then this was very interesting as well. This is not a particularly rare copy. I think the first few volumes of Gone are very hard to find. They, they can be pretty pricey. Um, I probably paid about the same thing you can get online, but I just picked it up anyways because I was just so surprised to see it as well. But yeah, Gone is has no text nor di no dialogue, and normally what people get is the Italian hardcover edition in this beautiful box set, and it's I definitely want to get that version. But if I can find the singles, I'm definitely gonna pick that up as well. But oh, it's so beautiful. The art is so gorgeous. This is an amazing series. God, I want it, man. And funny enough, volume five of the French edition is currently in, in Costa Mesa book out, but they're asking for like $15. And I'm like, I'm not gonna pay $15 for the French version. I don't even know if it's like rare or anything, but if you're French and you buy French manga, let me know if it is expensive, I guess. But um, yeah, I feel like $15 is way too much. So this I actually found today, which was a crazy find as well. This goes for $80 and I don't think this is out of print. It's just out of stock. I don't know if they're ever going to reprint this. Does, as far as I'm aware, Shonen Jump doesn't really re reprint certain volumes. I don't know, but this was, I've just been looking for this for the longest time. And I found it today at Half Price Books in Fullerton and for $5, which is crazy, man. I mean, people are paying 70 to $80 and I almost at one point was going to pay $50 because I was like, oh, that's a great deal. But yeah, Tagami Bachi, if you guys have been watching my previous haul videos, you know that I have been collecting this. And what a great mangaka, Hiroyuki Asada, man. What a freaking genius. I just love his artwork and the first chapter to this made me cry. It was just, I don't know why, it, it, it just did and it's just so beautiful. Amazing covers, amazing manga, amazing manga. Then we picked up some air gear. Honestly, dude, I used to see this all the time in Book Off and I would never pick it up. I was like, I'm gonna get the Omnibus, I'm gonna get the Omnibuses, which was such a dumb decision at the time. There were I, there were so many available and these, are, these can get very, very hard to find. And there are some volumes that go upwards to like $90, $100. I forget which volumes, like 30, like 20 something or 30 something, but yeah. Del Rey was publishing this and they never finished. Then Kadansha started publishing it and both Del Rey and a lot of Kadansha volumes are out of print, which is just crazy, man. But Air Gear is freaking amazing. 
an amazing mangaka, oh great, is an amazing artist, and man, I love this series. It's definitely one of my dream sets along with Vampire Hunter D singles. And yeah, hopefully I can get it by just being patient and finding good deals because I am not gonna pay crazy prices for a lot of these volumes. And there's a lot that are out of print. This one was a random series and it is by CPM Manga, which I believe an old publisher, I don't know if they became another company or anything, but this was around the time that they would publish stuff from left to right. But yeah, this is the fourth volume. I've never heard of this series before. I love picking up retro series. And every now and then I like to pick up and explore some of these. Um, I definitely wanna pick up the first few volumes, which are not too uncommon, thankfully. This one is probably the most uncommon one, but yeah, I love me some retro 80s, 90s manga. Then we have a volume of Sayonara Zetsuko Sensei, the Del Rey version, which is out of print. Found this, I'm missing only, I'm missing like six still, but I love the anime for this, never read the manga, hoping to find it so I can read it. Then we got Saturn Apartments volume five, which I only picked up because it was out of print basically. I've heard about this series from Manga Sloth and it sounded pretty interesting, but yeah, unfortunately this is, I guess, in out of stock hell or it's either out of print. I don't know, but they go upwards to like $30, which is, you know, crazy price for a Viz Sig, a modern Viz Sig. But yeah, need to pick up the rest of this. Honestly, the art looks freaking awesome, man. It looks really, really cool. Same deal with Yoamushi Petal Volume 5. I see this very often in Book Off, but I know from Tsuki Moon, that some of the volumes are starting to go out of print and you know once right stuff starts to delist it and doesn't even list it that's when you know like oh damn they're probably not going to ever reprint these especially knowing yen press it'll probably be like 10 years if we ever get lucky that this gets reprinted so yeah volume 5 was one that recently has been going out of stock and um i found it and i was like oh shit like i'm pretty sure this is one that goes out of stock picked it up pretty good deal 20 bucks well it was like yeah, $19. So now I gotta get the rest of it. All right, and then we have something that is not something that I bought, but it's something that I made recently, and it is my Attack on Titan leather hardcover DIY project. I made a video on it, which you are free to check out. I don't talk or anything, you just see me working on it. And yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. I still need to do some cover designs, but I haven't really decided on what I wanna go with yet. I really wanna make it nice, so I'm being patient with it. And yeah, I just always wanted to convert the Colossal Editions into a hardcover just because, you know, Attack on Titan, I love that manga, man. It's just one of my all time favorite mangas. And, you know, I just feel like it deserves like something of this nature. You know what I mean? This, this type of treatment. I do have some other stuff planned. I definitely want to do Witch Hat Atelier in hardcover leather. I just feel like for the type of manga that it is about magic and it's so beautiful with the artwork i just feel like it deserves it but yeah that's the little attack on titan hardcover that i did oh, almost forgot about the spanish manga that i picked up a lot a lot of good stuff i got sun Ken rock which has recently been released it's a two-in-one by Ivrea, and oof, dude i have been loving the hell out of sun Ken rock i just was not expecting to like it this much it's got a reversible cover there which is pretty awesome and yeah, Boichi, I mean, I was blown away by Origin and I just was like, man, is this going to deliver? Like, how different is it going to be? And it's just, it's so much better. Like, Origin's a little bit more mature, not as much comedy and stuff, but this is just freaking awesome, man. Then I got Jogon Volume 7, which I recently read and I'm just dying for Volume 8. Got the first volume of Innocent. I want to end up getting this in Spanish. Um, slowly because I've already read it and I got Kasane which I've been reading a little bit of and this was a pleasant surprise I can definitely see why people say this is a good series um, this was great then we got the Kanzenban edition I don't know if I showed this already in a previous haul I can't remember but um, yeah unfortunately it came damaged as you can see which 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 sucks yeah, I, I'm excited to get the rest of what's available right now. I believe there's like about five or seven volumes available. This is a gorgeous edition. It's essentially the Japanese constant bond, but just, you know, made in Spanish with um, English letters, I guess. You can see the embossment and look at that. It's just, it's just awesome. It's, it's basically on the level of the slam dunk constant bands. Got some colored pages there. 
And yeah, this is awesome. And I also picked up Kitaro by Shigeru Mizuki, which is a classic manga that I heard from Mustang Siho, a Spanish manga tuber. You know, if it wasn't for this manga, we wouldn't have stuff like Pokemon and all that. So this is something that, you know, I was very excited to get into. And for the period, man, this is some pretty awesome artwork, I have to say. But yeah, I need to read more of it. It's an interesting edition, not something that you usually see in Spain with uh, no dust cover. But, you know, these you would think that this was bad quality paper because of the cream color but it's actually really thick and smooth paper so it's still high quality i prefer white paper but all in all for being a classic manga i think it fits the look pretty well all right now i'm going to show you guys some stuff that i got in the mail this one is by one of the mods from the discord server which you guys are free to go check out if you want new people are always welcome there and it is a recreation of a manga panel from one of my favorite mangas of all time the legend of the strongest man kurosawa it is top three currently right now it's number three and this is such a special panel and i just he did such a great job with this honestly came a little bit damaged but not too bad um i can't wait to frame this up it's it's just incredible i definitely recommend that manga for sure just look at the detail i don't know if you can see that Yeah, he did such a great job. Then I got a gift from Heartless Weeb, the homie. Um, I, I I remember leaving him a comment once when I was watching uh, one of his manga haul videos, and he had this. He used to have this framed up. And I was like, dude, that's such a sick frame. I'm like, I'm so jealous. And then one day he was just like, dude, if you want it, just let me know. And yeah, he gave me this gift. I am forever indebted to him because Vampire Hunter D is. Yoshitaka Mano is one of my all-time favorite artists. Truly one of the greatest living artists of our time. But yeah, also I want to frame this up pretty soon. Just need to get some frames. And that is pretty much it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, definitely leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the Attack on Titan Omnibus. Did you pick up the Demon Slayer box? And just all in all, did any of these sound interesting? I still got to pick up some of your guys' recommendations from the Barnes & Noble shopping blog. But if you have any recommendations, let me know in the comments. Once again, I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me. I've been a little bit slow lately with my uploads because I've just been so busy with work, but I am going to continue making those Instagram posts as well as manga videos as much as possible. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.